What is going on, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Elite Road to Glory. Today, we're starting it off with the Foot Miss Challenge. If you guys have been enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on the video. And if this video is enjoyable or if it helps you out at all, make sure to subscribe by the end. Let's try to start it off with a bang. Let's try to start off with a decent pull here in a 45k pack. Now we spent about four to five thousand coins on probably about four point five k, and then the rest of it we got. Uh, we use players in the in the club as well. Pretty cheap for a forty five thousand coin pack. Today's episode is going to consist of some division rivals matches. We are going to be doing our Sunday night bidding, our Sunday night trading. Uh, using we have a pretty good amount of coins to do so as well. Um, not a great pack to start it off. Um, we got ourselves in Nui from Real Betis. So not a great 45k pack, and normally 45k packs are always terrible for me. Uh, I never expect anything out of them. I would much rather have a 35k pack than a 45k pack, um, definitely. I would definitely rather have a, a 35k pack than a 45k pack. I don't know what it is about them, but the, the, the 45ks just don't give out anything. And it doesn't make sense because they give six rare golds, right? Um, and it still it just doesn't give anything. Um, of of good value. So, yeah, I would much rather have a. Uh, I'd much rather have a a, a 35k pack. We got to buy a goalkeeper, 100 coins back. So we're starting today's episode with 48,000 coins, and I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys on the squad. Uh, I believe it's the same as we ended the last episode with, and I was gone all weekend, so that's why I didn't have an upload of Road to Glory. But we did have that podcast, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that because the podcast I dropped was I thought a really good podcast. Um. And it covered a lot of good topics like team of the year, it covered icons, it covered um, it covered footness, market uh, effects, um, when to sell, when to buy going into team of the year, um, and really coin sucks on the market. And we covered all of that in like 40 minutes, and uh, you guys weren't interested in that. It doesn't seem – now, I did get – you know, the people that watched it uh, did seem to enjoy it. But it did not get that much attention. So I'm not sure what it was, if it was the length of the video, if it's the fact that you guys just aren't into podcasts. But it's something that I've really wanted to do for a long time, and I put a lot of effort into it, and then it just did not get the response that I was expecting. So I asked you guys on Twitter and on the YouTube polls um, if it was uh, maybe because it was just a video, would you guys rather have it uh, a live stream? Um, to where maybe we could interact a little bit during the podcast as well, and then um, it would automatically upload to YouTube afterwards. Um, or if you guys just weren't into podcasts whatsoever. And on Twitter, um, the mo the biggest response was, yes, they would like it live streamed. And also the next biggest response was, I don't like podcasts. But most of you guys just said, no, we don't like it as a video, which is fine. Um, and then I asked on YouTube, and I got a completely different response. It wasn't. Um, yes, we want it live stream. You guys on YouTube, um, and I probably should have expected it, but uh, you guys just said you don't you don't want podcasts. Um, so I'll take that I'll take that uh, that response loud and clear, and I'm gonna start doing the podcast over on Twitch.tv instead, live stream it, and then you guys can watch the past broadcast if you wanted to. And I think that's what I'm gonna do from uh, from here on out, just based on the uh, response over on YouTube. Um, and that's just that's just uh, what I got out of out of the podcast. But I thought it was a good episode. If you want to check it out uh, and give it a chance, if you have time, go for it. Maybe you guys just wanted to see a shorter episode of podcast. Maybe you guys want twenty to thirty minute podcast instead of forty to forty five minutes. Maybe that's what it was. Um, anyways, I digress. This is the squad we're going to be using today for FCW, and we've got that new Antonio Valencia squad building challenge. So this video is going to go up at 9 a.m. Eastern, which means that I'm going to have a few hours to get your guys' responses in the comments down below. Should I do the Antonio Valencia foot miss SBC? It's an 84 rated right back card for about 90,000 coins, and hopefully I can build myself up to 90,000 coins without selling anything but the Valencia um, over the next 12 hours, and I think I, I should be able to with the Sunday bidding and um, just normal trading and stuff. So that shouldn't be an issue. But if I do get up to 90K, should we do the Antonio Valencia SBC? Let me know in the comments down below. Yes, we should do uh, Valencia or no, we shouldn't do Valencia. And we should put our coins towards something tradable or something else in general. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with some division rivals matches. We got a lot of work to do uh, to qualify for a weekend league this uh, week. We've got 439 points out of 2,000. We've got 1,500 points to go. So Definitely got some uh, ground to, uh, to to make up. 
So we're gonna hop into the first game, guys. Just played a few matches of Div Rivals. Uh, we were eight and nine, now I'm 10 and 11. So we played four matches, went two and two. Unfortunately, still couldn't bring it back to um, to even. We're still in the negatives for the record, but we're getting closer to qualifying. Still quite a ways away, but we're at like almost 600, I think. Yeah, so almost 600 out of 2,000. Boy, it's a grind. Like I did not expect it to be this hard to grind out this many games. And I honestly didn't know that it was this hard or this this much of a grind to qualify for weekend league. Like I know weekend league's a grind, but I didn't know it was gonna be this much of a grind just to qualify. So like that's crazy. Um, you guys know we packed Tiago Silva in the last episode, so we have those coins right now. Here are the rest of the players on our transfer list, and then we did pack that hunter card as well in the last episode. So I'm gonna clear out the transfer list to get ready for squad battle rewards, which do drop here in a few minutes. Um, two minutes and five seconds until. The squad battle competition ends, and unfortunately, uh, I forgot to get the, um, the the squad battle reward for the um, swap deals player. Um, score twice in seven different rival win wins during a swap deals player. I feel like I won more than that with t with two goals. Only two games, yet I still won. How many? Seven. So in seven of my wins, I only had one goal. I don't believe that. I feel like that's inaccurate. And then and then and then you have this one win fifteen matches across. Oh, you know what it is. The weekly objectives don't refresh on this day. They refresh in four days, so I have time. There's three swap deal players, three swap deal players, that I need to get out of these out of this week in the next four days so i still have time i thought i was going to be out of time um tonight i thought the the weekly things ended tonight they end on wednesday it looks like um but if you take a look at the squad building challenges i already have one swap deal player uh and then they haven't done an sbc for one yet i don't think um since we started this road to glory i need to get six of them so after this week i should have four and then hopefully there will be more next week there should be more next week hopefully for the uh, for the second set of swap deals, um, to to get us our Jefferson Lerma because I don't I don't want to settle for a freaking Kevin Lasagna I don't even want that card uh, like honestly like I could get a couple Electrum players packs but uh, I I want the I want the Jefferson Lerma I think that's the most worth it out of all of them honestly but uh, we've got a couple more minutes um, until these uh, squad battle rewards drop and I didn't play any squad battles but we are gonna play them this week so we'll have rewards next week. Um, but what you guys got to understand, it takes five minutes for the rewards to come out. So it, at 7 p.m. is when squad battles end. So it just ended right now. But it's five minutes after. Five minutes after is when the rewards actually drop. Uh, so it's 7.05 p.m. Eastern when the rewards drop midnight 05. So 12.05 or, or 0.005, depending on if you use military time or not in Europe. In the UK, midnight 05. Uh, is the uh, is the time in, in Europe when the when they actually drop so for that first hour you're gonna be wanting to snipe and, and, and buy cards during the second hour um, once it hits the hour after the squad battle rewards drop then you bid because that's when they start you know expiring and people who listed them up on open bid those are the real deals so you've got two opportunities to pick up cards and I'm gonna try to spend all of my coins and hopefully turn this 49k. Uh, into like maybe 75 to 80,000 coins and then uh, after that we can determine you know whether this Valencia is worth it and I can go ahead and trade up my way a little bit higher uh, plus also selling the Valencia will help as well if we want to do our footness Valencia SBC if we want to do that I'm not sure yet if we want to but we can't that's an option Okay, guys, so the Sunday sniping is over. I'm about to get into the Sunday bidding part. We got 31 players and used up about half our coins, so that was pretty good. We got all these Durasis. We've got six Durasis. We've got two El Shiraris at left mid, um, and then we've got all these Pellegrinis, and then we've got Cristantes as well, and we got them all for less than 1,000 coins. Every single one of them for less than 1,000 coins, and if you take a look at their price, they're going for about 1,500 or more 
So a lot of profit there already. We have 25K more to uh, to bid. And right now we are market ban on console. So we're going to head over to the web app and I'm going to go ahead and get into the bidding, which actually can be a little bit easier on web app as well. Uh, bidding, it's very it's a lot easier to keep track of all the cards you bid on your transfer targets. The transfer targets on console on the game, very, very glitchy, very, very unreliable on web app, much more accurate and a lot easier to navigate. So I actually kind of prefer bidding over on the web app. So let's head over. Okay, so we are done with with Sunday bidding and Sunday sniping and it went brilliantly it went awesome um, we started with 49,000 coins we are down to less than a thousand um, and we picked up a total of 58 cards 43 on snipe 15 on bid and after a few minutes of bidding I realized honestly I'm gonna continue the sniping because I was struggling with the bidding and I accidentally bid a little bit too high on two of the cards as well those are the only two cards I bid too high and quite honestly I'll probably be able to sell them for that price anyway um, and, uh, yeah, just, just to be, to be honest, like the bidding wasn't working as well as the sniping was, and that's fine. You know, some weeks the sniping works better than the bidding. Some weeks the bidding works better than the sniping. It's just how it is. Um, this week it was, I just noticed sniping was on. Um, and so I was, uh, I was sniping all the cards and I focused mostly on this sniping filter. So I'm going to leave you guys with a sniping filter here, um, which is act actually awesome. Um, gold midfielder Italy Serie A Roma. It's an awesome filter, guys. I was using it all night, oh, the last hour and a half. Um, we spent an hour and a half uh, doing this trading, and right now the cheapest card is Pellegrini at 1600, and then it looks like there was a Cristante in there as well. Um, so yeah, they go for 1600 and they sell um, at 1600 as well. And then you've got players like De Rossi in here um, that go for a couple hundred more coins um, right here, at like 1800. Um, but you guys can see that this filter, if you set it to like a thousand coins or less, um, you can be making a lot of profit, especially if you snipe for 450 coins, which we got a lot of them for. Uh, so we got De Rossi's all the way across here for 1200 or less. Uh, we got two El Shirawis at left midfielder. So he's on a position change. So I feel like that's valuable. Then we got Cristantes and Pellegrini's who go for about the same price, given that they're the same rating and the same team, same country. Um, obviously you go. they're gonna be the same price um, and we got them all across here uh, excluding the 1700s and that 1400 I got them all for a thousand or less so um, a lot of them for 500 and uh, 450 as well 600 a lot of profit here started again whoops we started with um, we started again with 49,000 coins uh, and then we got a couple of various different cards in here, like Korich, Renokia, uh, Lafont, and uh, and Saudi. Just just a couple random guys that I that I went out and picked out uh, that are also up in price. So the question now is, when do we sell these cards? The best idea to sell is within the next 24 hours, normally, um, especially if they're up because of a certain squad building challenge. And right now, most of those guys are up for the Calcio League SBC, so they're permanently going to be up in price unless they hit. A ton, a ton of supply. But right now, they're also up because of that footness uh, challenge SBC. So these these hyperlinks, these Italians from Roma, they're up a little bit more than they normally are. And I'm going to go ahead and sell them before that footness challenge expires. What I could do is wait and see if there's another SBC that drops tomorrow. But you got to consider, are there going to be more uh, supply? Is there going to be more supply out of packs from that SBC as well? So you can just sell the same night the squad battle rewards are, but normally if you wait 24 hours and sell about then, you're good to go. That's that's normally a prime time to sell. But given the fact that we're trying to make as much profit as quick as we can on this account so we can keep building, um, normally if I had like, you know, let's say we had 500,000 coins and I invested 50,000 coins tonight in this hour and a half, I would normally hold for the full 24 hours. But since that's all of my coins, I'm going to go ahead and sell. And also because I want to see if that Antonio Valencia is worth it. Um, that was like the question of today's video was, is Van Antonio Valencia worth it for our squad? Do we get him or not? Um, I want to have the coins ready and available uh, once this video goes live at 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. UK, four hours before the SBC actually expires. So that that is, the, that is another reason why I want to sell. So I'm going to go ahead and get to selling, and then I might play a couple more matches and call it a night. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my gameplay for this match. For anybody that wants to watch my gameplay um, and critique it and just kind of see uh, what I do and what I can do to maybe make it better, this is your chance. Um, this is the squad I'm using. And I'm going to go ahead and do my custom tactics, or at least instructions. Um, and then you guys can tell me what would you change in terms of instructions. So what we're going to do is um, the fullbacks. 
I'm thinking, how do I change the instructions actually? I'm not sure. Uh, custom tactics, I guess it would be under there. Yes, there it is. Okay, so for the instructions, I would want to set my Valencia at uh, stay back while attacking. I've been doing this pretty much every game. Um, I've been doing this pretty much every game, but I haven't done it before the game, so I have to just keep doing it, and I've just finally re remembered. Um, and then the tactics, like, I don't know what I would do about this. Like, I, this is where you guys come in. Like, I don't know what to do about tactics. I used instructions in previous years, so I kind of know what works. And based off of what, what I've seen so far in FIFA 19, I think the fullbacks need to stay back. And I'm keeping Lerma back because he can't shoot the ball with a crap. Um, and then we're using the 4-2-3-1 um, with these guys up top. And then every now and then I'll switch Zaha and Lacazette. Um, and right now, our subs aren't the greatest either. We only have Naldo, Sal Salvio, and Rabio. I might upgrade our subs in the in the near future. Nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my gameplay. Um, I'll cut, like, you know, a lot of it out just to keep it shorter. But I want to I wanna leave a lot of it in so you guys can critique and, and determine what I'm doing wrong, what you would do better. Um, and uh, it's just your perfect opportunity, ultimately, just a backseat game. Why is my guy just standing there? Could get his shot in now. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Foul. No call. Albana and shoots. The shot's hit the post. So close. Inches away. But they are playing well. I fancy him to get another chance and uh, put the noses in front here. That's good movement forward here. There's a goal. Nice finesse time finish. Looks like from Zaha there. And uh, just after he hit the post for us, we got a attack and we, we capitalized. So we're up 1-0. This guy's actually a decent player, so I don't know if we'll be able to hold that for very long. Beautiful! It's offsides, though. Dang it. Yeah, it makes sense. I shot the ball with Mkhitaryan, and it just kind of fell luckily. To me. Like, there was no skill in that finish, so I can't I can't be too disappointed. It was a completely lucky goal. But it was a good finish. It was a good finish. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Well, that's good defending. He's looking for the cross. Away. Away. Oh, so AIDS. He hit the post again. To be fair, that one was totally undeserved. So I am happy that one didn't go in. So unlucky not to be level. But uh, I've just seen one or two heads dropping. I don't know if they're losing a bit of belief, his team. That's offsides. I wasn't trying to play it to him. Yes! Let's go! That, that, was, that was a really good play. I'm actually winning this game. I don't know if it's because I'm recording, I'm playing better than I normally am, but I do feel like I'm playing quite well right now in comparison to the last couple games. Oh, he kickoff glitched me, unfortunately. Not much you can do to defend against uh, against a kickoff glitch this year. I've scored plenty of kickoff glitch goals myself. Maybe could have been saved, too. Oh, I thought that was in. Slide tackle from behind so they don't score. I don't want to get a red card in the first half, though. But yeah, slide tackle from behind might not be a terrible idea. Just to stop the attack and hope for a yellow. As long as it's not near the box, it probably will only give me a yellow, I imagine. 
All right. Half time at 2-1. His only goal was off kickoff, and I've shut him down. Other than the times he hit the post, one of them was a good play at the beginning of the game. The other one was completely aids and I couldn't really do anything to stop that. But overall, he only has three shots on target, um, or three shots in total, and you saw all of them. They, they hit the post, hit the post, and, and, and scored off kickoff. Honestly, I'm not playing bad. Um, full 45 minutes, those are the only times he's really had the ball even in my box. Um, I just got to be able to defend better once he gets into those positions because it seems like whenever he does get into those positions, he gets a good shot off every single time. Uh, I've got to have that last man defending um, stepped up a little bit because we're preventing the attacks and we're preventing the opportunities, but we're just not doing too well at preventing him from uh, getting the shot off once he does get those eventual opportunities. All right, so we got a kickoff glitch goal as well, so it's even now. We both have one kickoff glitch goal. Um, obviously, nothing he can do about that. Like, I hate the I hate kickoff glitch goals, but they've been a thing every year, and it's quite obvious. Like, even from somebody who's not that uh, versed in gameplay, it's quite obvious why it happens. Um, they stress too much on defending from behind, and this is in the entirety of the game, um, entirety of FIFA 19's gameplay. They stress way too much on defending from behind. You always have to defend uh, from from your midfielders tracking back and, and, and sneaking up on the player, I guess you could say, and, and getting them uh, from, the, from, from behind and stealing the ball. When you're face on, oh, I must have timed to finish that absolutely terribly. Should have chipped it. Uh, when you're defending in a good position and when you're defending well like like not letting the ai defend you're actually more of at a disadvantage because you're like so flat-footed that they can just walk by you because they have all the momentum going forward so unless you stab and make a good play like and get lucky honestly you're 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 screwed um and that's the problem that's why the kickoff glitch is still a thing it's because Every single person on your team is going to be flat-footed and having to defend from from the from in front, not from behind, and that's why you score so easily off kickoff every time. It, it's so obvious that that's the reason. Um, and the only way to fix it really would be for EA to um, make it so that defending from behind is not as uh, important, and they make it so defending from an actual good position is more easy to defend with like it, it would only make sense oh that was a good shot sending it across and again oh that's a goal oh unlucky stronger than valencia apparently and quicker now i know felipe anderson is quick but defensively like he's not a strong player Gosh, guess we just gave up a too close, too close of a goal, uh, too close of a shot with his uh, finesse there. Even if it was on the near post, um, three to two now. Definitely slack defensively there. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what I could have done better there, because uh, I definitely know I could have, and I, that wasn't that wasn't my best uh, showing for defense, honestly. I have yet to score on a corner, and I don't know if it's just because I have too small of attackers and not enough like tall defenders like. Uh, Davinson Sanchez, but I'm starting to play it short now just because I feel like that's a lot Maybe normally a lot better than just sending it in and maybe getting counter-attacked Beautiful. There we go. I think he was getting impatient there with his defending because he knows it's getting late in the game. He started stabbing at everything, pulling his center backs out of position, and uh, we were able to actually capitalize on that. Dang, should have had a fifth there, actually. Through. 
Oh, I timed it perfectly as well. It was just a good save. And this is our last attack. I'll just go ahead and send it in. Um, see if we can get a header on it. And again, nothing comes from it. But uh, we got a dub, so that's good. We actually ended up getting a dub. But we did give up two goals. One of them was a kickoff glitch. And uh, maybe you guys have a tactic for defending kickoff glitch. But you can't, you can't really be too concerned about getting scored on like that. But... The second goal, definitely, I could have prevented with the Kevin De Bruyne uh, finesse, uh, knowing that he had all those really, really good attackers like uh, Aubameyang, Mo Salah, Kevin De Bruyne, Felipe Anderson, Pogba even, uh, Marcelo and Walker. Like We knew that he was going to be able to take those long shots. But uh, Zaha, he ended up with a hat trick, Kondogbia with a goal, and uh, I think ultimately played pretty well, but I know I can get better, and that's the, that's the point, and that's why I'm... Uh, showing you guys this game. So uh, let me know in the comments section down below. But anyways, as we finish up today's episode, I do want to take a look at our total coinage um, after we've sold our cards. Now, it should be a few more minutes until all of our, you know, guys have expired and then I'll relist. And uh, we only up, oh, that's skill rating. We went up like, we normally go up like 60 points towards weekend league every time we get a dub. But we're up to 38,000 coins now, guys. Um, and our task completed for footmas, um, which is that a weekly objective play five matches of any foot game mode this week And here's the thing. I've already played five matches I don't know why it's just now giving me this but uh, we only get a kit So that's nothing important at all nothing to get excited about I was hoping we could get like a thousand coins or something. I don't know but uh, Foot miss Santi Gazzola for nine online single matches. Ugh, I don't know if I want to do that. But I do want to get those foot swaps, as I mentioned earlier. But we still have 34 things selling on the market right now. You can see these Pellegrini selling. You can see uh, the Chris Dante selling at 1600 I listed them for 16 through 1800 Looks like all the ones for 1600 sold. Uh, we got Korich is selling. Santons are selling. Um, and we still have a ton left on the market. So if you guys remember, we started at 49,000 coins tonight before we started bidding on these guys and sniping them. And now we have 39 of them left on the, or 34 of them, excuse me, left on the market. And they're all, every single card is going for more than 1.5 thousand coins. Every single one of them. Um, so take a look. Every single one over 1,500 coins. A lot of them for like 1,600, 1,700, 1,800 um, like the De Rossi's there, 1800 So let's assume we sell every single one for 1500 just to lowball it, just by a little bit. Um, we have 39,000 coins. And if we have 34 cards that are going to sell for for 1.5 thousand coins, that's going to be 51K. So plus the 39,000 coins we have, we're up to 90,000 coins. We turned 49K into 90K just from Sunday night bidding. It is so easy to just double your coins pretty much on Sunday night bidding, especially if you have that like, sweet spot amount of coins like 50k was such a nice amount of coins to go into it so that's an easy way to just double your coins in uh, uh every sunday night uh with 50k it's so so easy um anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's episode hopefully you enjoyed the sniping filter the trading method the sunday bidding uh the games played and uh everything else that was in this episode make sure to drop a like if you are enjoying the series it helps me out so much guys and don't forget to answer the questions down below the questions of the day are number one do we get the antonio valencia squad building challenge for about ninety thousand coins which we do have now um and also um do uh i have anything to improve on in terms of gameplay for you guys that have been playing a lot longer than i have thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out <laughs>